Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. Friday morning, re highly requested video. Pros and cons of owning a home. And one thing that some of you may not know, let's get started. Some of these things you obviously know. I'll go through it briefly. But there's one thing that was a surprise to us when we were a homeowner. Pros, number one, you overall are going to have the same house payment. It may fluctuate, which I'll get in, into in the cons, but you overall will. If you rent, you never know because your rent could keep going up and up. Number two, you build credit in case you wanted to buy another home at some point. And I do think having good credit, even if you're not always using it, because we want to remain as close to debt free as possible, but it's still good to have that. Number three, it's yours once it's paid off. For example, we paid off our home in 2017. We had a 30 years mortgage, then we switched it to a 15 year, which was great. And then we paid extra on the principal to pay it off faster. And now we just have to pay our taxes, which averages out to about 300 a month, which I have a sinking fund for that. So basically all it costs to live in our home not including repairs and keeping it up is $300 a month, which is great. We couldn't rent a place for that. So that is fabulous. These are the cons. Number one, many end up being house poor because they may buy a home off two incomes. Somebody loses a job. They're kind of, uh, especially if your house payment's really high. I know it, I would love to have a more lovely home. I would like to have a bigger home, beautiful kitchen, but we're working on living below our means. And so, yes, we might not have the biggest, most luxurious home, but it's affordable for us. So a lot of folks want to buy that dream home, which is affordable on two incomes, but not one. So that could be a con. Number two, this is huge, and I know we've heard about this. Some of you out there do all your repairs and work yourself. That's great. Some of you have the skills. Some of you have the equipment. Some of us are not good at doing that. One of the things that I think is important is that when you buy a home, you kind of have to know what issues your house may have. I'm going to give you a quick example. I know where we live, our house is built in 62. We have a plumbing issue sometimes where the clean out gets roots in it because the plumbing is older. So about two to three times a year, we pay to have our clean out gone through all of our plumbing in our home. We're doing preventative maintenance so that way we don't have backed up toilets, backed up sinks, backed up washer or dryer. Believe me, it is not fun, especially if you've got people that are homebodies that are here all the time. You kind of need running toilets that are working that you can flush. So we know that. We know this ahead. And so it's really important. You know, repairs can get out of hand. There's big repairs such as heating, air conditioning can be expensive if you need to have a unit if you're in a warmer climate, for example. Also, plumbing and electrical can get expensive. So it's so important to know that ahead and to have a really good savings account so if things happen, you've got the money to back it up. That's why it's important when you buy a home to know what are the issues. No big deal if you have flooring or wallpapering that need, you know, need to be replaced. That's something that you can wait on. But plumbing and electrical are things you can't wait on. Also, this is the big con that I said a lot of people might not know of. Your taxes may go up. A lot of times when you have a home, you have taxes that you have to pay. It gets wrapped up, not all the times, you can do it separately, but it gets wrapped up into your escrow account. And the escrow pays for your taxes. Well, if your home value goes up, that means your taxes go up and there might not be enough in the escrow account, which means once a year, they and this happened to us a couple times where they mail you and say your house payment is now going to be an example seven hundred dollars a month instead of 650 because there wasn't enough in your escrow do you want to pay the difference and keep the same house payment or do you want your house payment to go up we always paid the extra so that our house payment stayed the same because i like knowing what my bills are every month that can happen so the main thing with owning a home is it can be wonderful and it's great once you own it, but do you want to buy a fixer upper and do you know how to fix it? Can you save a lot of money so that when big issues come up, you can pay for it? So if you're a homeowner, you've got to be able to save a good amount of money each month because there's always something when you own a house. Let me know if you guys have any tips on homeowning. What do you find to be pros and cons of owning a home. I want to hear from you in the comments below. I hope this video was helpful. Love you. Bye.